Hi, welcome to this episode of Squeeze Hands TV, the place to be to feel empowered over your overwhelm and stress. Have you ever felt uncomfortable going to a party? Do you often find yourself just not going to parties or places where there's going to be large crowds because it's just so overwhelming and uncomfortable? You're not alone. I get this question all the time from coaching clients and and people qu uh, sending me questions to my Facebook Live about how do you deal with this? How do you deal with that feeling of overwhelm, especially when you get invited to a wedding or you know a good friend's party where you know there's going to be a lot of people and you really want to go, uh, but the discomfort keeps you from getting excited about it. So today on this episode of Squeeze Hands TV, I'm going to give you five things that you can do to help you breeze through the party and have you dancing afterwards, okay? All right, so step one is on the way to the party, think about things that you're grateful for. Think about the house that you have and how quiet and peaceful and how comfortable it is there. Or think about your dog and what it feels like to pet your dog or your cat. Think about uh, maybe the good food that you know that's gonna be at the party um, and the fact that it's gonna be free. Or think about just getting to see your friend. Whatever that is, whatever you can think of to feel grateful for, maybe it's the vehicle that you're getting to drive to the party. Maybe it's the bicycle that you're getting to ride. Uh, or the train and just getting to sit and enjoy and not have to think about your transportation. So getting yourself in that state of gratitude gets the serotonin flowing. It gets the serotonin receptors in your brain flowing and firing and it puts you in a much happier, calmer place. So that's step one. So step two is when you get to the party, Look around, instead of waiting for people to come to you, and then, you know, like a lot of people, then nobody ever comes to you, and then you feel even worse, right? <laughs> look around for people who look interesting to you. Look for somebody who has a blouse that maybe you really like, or a pin on their lapel, or, you know, maybe they're laughing, or they have a great smile. And just go up to them and say, oh, I really like that skirt that you're wearing. Or, you know, where did you get that great hat? And, and put the focus on the other person. Ask them questions. People really like to talk about themselves. And, and so just, and um, what I like to do is to have a list of questions that I just keep in my phone. And it can be, you know, what do you do uh, to have a good time. Do you have a cat or do you have children? Tell me about those. What, you know, is the last trip that you went on that you really enjoyed? Or what's your favorite place in the world to visit? So come up with a list, uh, list of questions. You can Google them and, uh, and have them in your phone or a piece of paper in your pocket. And that way you have an immediate thing and you have to try to come up with them on the fly because that can be really hard. And then when people start asking you questions, which inevitably they will, keep it light. Keep it not, don't think of, think, talk about things that are so personal. And because if you start talking about how you really feel about a situation or how you're really feeling that day, it can make you feel really vulnerable and uncomfortable because most likely you haven't gotten to know this person very well. You know, if it's somebody that you feel an instant connection with and you feel like they really want to know how you're really feeling or something, you know, then you can tell them generally a party is not the place to discuss that. It's, it's just a part, place to have fun and keep things really light and talk about how much you like the food. And I get it, it can be really hard. It can feel 
really superficial to just talk about random stuff. But you never know if you if you keep it superficial and light, then you may end up really connecting with people, especially if you start by going to people that really interest you, that has some kind of interesting thing about them. Even if you see them drive up in a car that you really like, ask them about their car. So yeah, so keep things light and impersonal. And if you start feeling uncomfortable asking, um, answering their questions, then turn around, look at your list or your phone or, you know, think of a question uh, that you can ask them or turn the question around that they ask you, turn it back around to them and ask them that question. And then most important of all, use your squeeze hands. Squeeze your hands, one hand, then the next. And if you haven't gotten this technique, please go to squeezehands.com. If somebody else is sending this to you, I will put a link in the show notes to it as well. And nobody will know that you're doing it, right? I could be doing it during this whole video and you would never know, right? And so, and that's the beauty of squeeze hands. It will help you feel so much calmer and safer and secure and and being in those people and that sense of emotional overwhelm will just melt away within a minute or two. So be sure that you use that. And then when you leave the party, give yourself a big hug and congratulations for going and having the courage to go and dance and be excited that you get to go back to your safe place, to your home, wherever it is you go, in your car, in the time that you get to be by yourself. But be sure that you congratulate yourself for, for going to the party and having the courage to do that, okay? So that's it, that's th for today's episode of Squeeze Hands TV. And now I'd like to hear from you. What is one thing that you do when you go to a party to feel safe and not overwhelmed? Or even better, share with us a question, maybe a question that you really like to ask people or a question that you really like to be asked. Share with that, share that information with us in the comments below. And, and then we'll all be able to make a list of questions. All right, thank you so much for joining us. Please go to squeezehands.com. That's where the best information is. And join us every Monday and Thursday on Facebook at Squeeze Hands. And on Thursday at 1130, we do a live 10 minute meditation. And on Monday, I have a pre-recorded meditation that also will post at 1130. So every Monday and Thursday, we have a meditation, a, a group meditation on Facebook. So be sure and join us there. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic week and keep looking for the joy. Bye.